Hello, not here. Well, welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 13. The last episode we had a little fun with the invaders from the Lair of the Forest. 17 arrived. Three were captured. Uh, I think three or so got away and, uh, and everybody else is a corpse now. And we have to deal with them. We have to bury them and... Yeah, basically we have to now deal with the aftermath. So, in this, this fight, no, once again we got ambushed. Um, one of the things we are doing currently is to, to set up this, this maze of death, which eventually is going to be full of traps. That, no, if they, they swarm in, the traps will maul half of their the attacking force, so it will just kill a couple, it will weaken a couple, um, basically going to make it easier for us to kill, uh, it's going to easier for us to tilt their morale into the point where they are going to flee. So that, that's one thing. Uh, another thing that we're, we're going to set up some, some turrets here once this, this uh, murder hole setup is done. But something else that uh, once again came to the front uh, last time uh, was that once they got into our uh, well inner sanctum, so to say, all we could do was put someone here with a shotgun and, and shoot out. But it was only one spot and we couldn't really play with our opponents, so to say. We couldn't now pop in from different doors in order to uh, attack them from different sides. And once a door was under scrutiny, move our people to another uh, location. So I did a little bit of uh, sketching for a plan that I want to do after we, we clean things up and we built the doors. It's going to be for after. And basically, uh, I sketched out a, a corridor here. That's going to be There's going to be a wall here. There's going to be a wall here. And we got the mountain in our back and a double wall over here. But it's going to be a long corridor over here. That... Oh, I actually need to move the plant for that as well. Uh, it's going to contain doors every... At, uh, every uh, a couple of points throughout the door but now there's an exit here and there's three blocks of wall and then there's going to be a door three blocks of wall and a door three blocks of uh, wall another door and it's going to uh, repeat this way all the way until we get over here and it's really hard to see but there's the faint outline of a wall here uh, over the the slag this is going to be a, a double wall with another small corridor in here that's going to contain uh, doors so basically, we have, we'll have a door here, we'll have doors here, and there's going to be doors interspaced along this entire side. So we can take our people, with, especially those with shorter ranged weapons, and we can put them in the doorways over here. So if the enemies come through the maze, they're all uh, oh, wounded and, and, and discouraged. And, oh, there's someone failed an operation, we're going to watch that. So after they come through, now we have our people lined up here with, with pistols at first and then no uh, rifles uh, further down the road. And they'll be shooting. And then if no, there's maliers that kind of charge our people, then we just take them away from the door and move them a couple doors behind. And that way we can do a hit and run type uh, skirmish style combat with opponents. And that way if they push through and make it to the final door, well, we'll just put our people uh, around and just shoot them. And, and basically see if we can play with them. And there's going to be doors uh, every once in a while. So even if enemies decide to charge one of the doors and break it down, we can also do a similar thing inside of our uh, corridor system. Um, Panda failed in a minor way. Because we were operating on the prisoners before releasing them. Um, so we're trying to put pack legs on left and right. I think they still have a... Oh, okay, so left worked, right failed. We shredded the right leg. Surgical cut and the left humerus. So try to put on a new leg and get some surgical cuts in your right tibia and your left humerus. I think they really uh, uh, lost control over their soul. But hey, they're prisoners. I don't really, really care. Minor infection, so once they can actually move again, we'll just have to make them go. Um, we still need to put a pack leg on you, because it failed, then we just retry. Uh, Kamisa, I think we were... Yeah, chat and recruit, so we're not gonna maim you. Simone, same deal. That's why you also get access to medicine, and Panda is just gonna go. Right, so, we'll move on. 
we are burying corpses. There's a whole bunch of new graves that we want to dig up. Eventually, we'll have to get electric cremation just to get rid of all these uh, corpses. We'll make it easier. And then we also don't have to strip corpses since we can just send them all to the cremation room. And then just the corpses will just explode out of that room. Or, no, not the corpses. That would be weird. The, the clothes and all the things they have equipped, they will just explode out of the room since they will get stripped before being incinerated. Um, let's see. This one got... Uh, attacked by a Borg, so I already marked it for pickup, which is good, since it's a bit of a waste to let a perfectly good corpse go rotten. Though given that it's freezing outside, that's not really going to be a big, a big issue. But yeah, lots of stuff happening. Also, I think one person needs to prioritize cleaning a little bit. Actually, that, that's much OP. After hauling, you clean. Um, is there Machupi or Speedo? Now what will uh, make uh, Speedo a level one cleaner? And then you grow and then you haul. So this way we'll make sure that things are clean since uh, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be cleaned. Uh, we still have our, uh, our bugs over here. We did manage to freeze them enough. We froze them enough that at least they are uh, without a hive. But they still don't like being confined. And they will eventually chew away through the walls and pour into the rest of the base. For now though, I hope that we discourage them enough. That at least we can uh, deal with the aftermath here, get the corpses, corpses buried, get the meals in, uh, get everything hold. And then we can go back here. Since we do have our, uh, our freezing setup here, we got a freezer here, we got a freezer here that's currently damaged. Hey, we got a camisa that we dragged in. Look what the cat dragged in. Oh wait, we are... Oh wait, no, 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 yeah, I'm confusing them. Let's see, we are setting you to release. Chat and recruit, chat and recruit. Uh, ah, Panda, yes. Ah, this is also one that we are releasing. So Panda and Kamisa are both gonna go. And they both have an operation scheduled still. Then prisoner rights, they have no, no, no rights. They attack us unprecedented. We never did anything wrong to the lair of the forest. So I feel very justified in, uh, in experimenting on prisoners in order to get my medical skills up to actually save the people that matter. Yep, ethics, yeah. We don't no, need no freaking ethics. Also, work. Well, it's it's not hostile yet, so we're good there. Uh, at least, I see, everybody has been stripped. Some corpses have been uh, moved over. I don't think anybody's restricted anymore. Nope, that's good. Livestock can still do what they want to do. Yeah, we still have four. That's good. Well, that's going to be uh, more soon, though, since two of the does are pregnant. Oh, catast catastrophic failure. Usually that means that the subject has died. Hmm. So we were trying to put a peg leg on, right? So that is saw off leg, put on peg leg. Apply lots of duct tape. Um, uh, let's see. Major untreated infection. That's kind of kind of annoying. Uh, so surgical cut in the torso. Surgical cut in your stomach, surgical cut in the spine, left humerus, in the ribs, in the right tibia, and bleeding profusely. Yeah. I got a suspicion they might have some issues surviving this. But it, it's, a good, it's a good training. Let's look at the medical skills of Veneros go. 
to return. Yeah, that's it. Kamisa is no longer incapable of walking. I think that means you are now the weakest link. Goodbye. Also, Seth is in a bit of a bad, bad attitude. Why are you in? You're in a hideous environment. Yeah, I'm not gonna disagree with you there. Oh, you observe some corpses. Yeah, feels bad, man. Max, you are holding steel. I'm gonna convince you to work on graves since we need to bury more corpses. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten corpses. At this point, it's actually gonna be more efficient to just build ourselves a crematory. Electric cremation is going to be the next after geothermals, so we need to get more research time in, which means we need to get more other stuff. Okay. You're building slate walls. Okay. Uh, is this going to be one of those things that I have to keep telling you to do something I really want done? Because apparently it's more important to build slate walls than graves, even though... These corpses are making people very unhappy. Hey, let's babysit Louis. So this is one of those those things that you wonder if you're even supposed to micromanage your people in such a manner. Or Otherwise, if you would want to actually give your people uh, better orders, like work on this type of uh, project for now on. Now, in this case, I'll, uh, like prioritize working on this grave and then have another option. Prioritize working on uh, graves and then as long as there are graves nearby, they will just keep going. And that works well for, for graves, it works well for walls, it works for all kinds of things that you are usually doing in batches. We have someone in a daze. Oh, Machu P is in a daze. Well, Machu P is a bit of our least uh, happy person because Machu P seems to be attracting a lot of uh, negativity in her life. It's just... You no, know, people keep dying. It's probably nothing personal. But more medieval societies would probably say that Machu P is cursed. Hey, we have a hunter that is, yeah, unarmed. So that was your pistol. Hey, did we set Kamisa free? Yes, we set Kamisa free. Are you gonna die on the way out? Trivial malnutrition. Okay, I think you're gonna survive. Good. Machu P is slowly undressing. That, that's. Would be really cool if it wasn't freezing outside. Starvation. Machopi. Yeah, you're not really attending to your own needs here. I hope you'll recover soon from your days. I mean, you're out of, the, uh, out of the threshold again, so that's good. Winter has begun. I mean, eventually, Machopi is going to be good again. Um, do we have anything that... that Clears snow. I don't think that's actually useful for most of the base. Uh, yeah, like that. Since no snow will keep falling, it's not actually that relevant. Um, or maybe we should just keep our own base clear this way. Then that's it. This is just going to be for working, for walking areas. We have a lot of graves now, so we can get rid of the corpses, so people can get uh, happier. Uh, let's see, because Kamisa has exited the map, relations with Lair of the Forest has improved. So they're now at negative 43. Um, with a bit of luck, Panda will survive. Actually, Panda is no longer bleeding, so Panda is gonna gonna survive. Oh, major infection. You're gonna get. Oh, it's extreme. I don't think 
this is good, it's gonna be good. And you are poor consciousness. I have an issue, I've got a feeling that Panda is not gonna make it. Hunter likes weapon, is much be much be still wandering, dazed with wandering and dazed. Starvation. Yeah. yeah. This is gonna be bad. Consuming simple meal. Good. Machopi is feeling a bit of, a little bit peckish. Good. You can actually uh, equip your pistol again. And then after that, you can just equip whatever you want. Uh, oh, you also dropped your took. No, actually clothing. You don't want to force wear them because otherwise they'll never actually replace it. Um, we have some power issues. This one is off, but we don't actually have anything draining outside. High power usage, or is this just one of those situations where we are simply using more power? I'm gonna turn one of the generators on. Just to uh, help us uh, get our batteries up. Okay. So this, this situation is still kind of okay, it's negative 23. So slowly, slowly we are getting there. What do we need for this? We need more steel. We actually have steel because Vanderos is working like a champ. So Louis Cabrera, you are attempting to recruit. Uh, you know what? Work on the cooler. I think that's way more important right now. Okay, you brought the materials. So next step is actually building the bloody thing. Um, set this one also to just go negative 200. Oh, we went to 270, just uh, zero Kelvin. If I remember correctly. So even more freezing power means even a cooler in the room. This is this is pretty cool though. Negative 100 degrees. That's not something you want to be in. This is a pretty large room and half of the walls are not properly insulated. So at some point the outside is actually warming up the room. Which, which is an issue. <laughs> Um, one of the reasons why I actually should, uh, after we finish our defenses on the outside, while well, why we should finish building a big tunnel around all the storage walls and replace all the rock walls with proper built walls that we constructed ourselves. So we have temperature insulation between rooms. That way we can actually pull this, this freeze them out trick a bit better than we otherwise would. Um, hey, did we actually release Panda? We might. So I don't remember seeing Panda die. Er, Panda? We have a history. It doesn't show any events. Oh well, uh, that one less distraction for us. Let, let's look at it that way. So nobody is in the hospital right now. Let's turn off the lights. I'll be a bit, bit power conscious. We are using 200 watts for each of these three coolers, which does explain why we're using so much power. Hmm. Fail to recruit Vince. Well, slowly, surely, we will recruit people. Let's give them some more time. It's a good thing, no, the, the, the recruitment attempts, the wardens get more and more social over time that way. Which is a good thing. A buck self-tamed. Ah, awesome. Hey, wait. We now have three bucks. Also, you've been killed. You're missing some body parts. Uh, this work is missing some body parts. The other ones are just sleeping, they're not actually dead. But... Okay, so the thing with, with herds is, of course, that... Female animals can get pregnant, get you babies. Male animals, they're not really useful. If you got snow too, then you always have a backup in case one of the first ones dies. 
So let's see, we got buck two, h7. We got buck one, h7. We got buck three, h2. I think one of our old bucks is gonna get slaughtered. And we start with the first one. So goodbye, buck. It was a uh, not a pleasure not knowing you. I don't know where I'm going with this. Poor mood. Macho P, again. Yeah. Mental state, macho P. Holy moly, again? This went really quickly from good to not good. Okay, if you stay wandering indoors, then, then that's okay. If you're wandering outdoors, that's good. Okay, so this is a big ugly room. Probably because there's less lots of storage in spaces because, well, bugs ate our storage room. Well, the good thing is that most of it is clean now. So at some point, so Macho P is really not dressed right now. Are you even wearing pants? Yeah, you still got pants and you got a hat. But you did drop your gun. So we'll have to really equip Macho P later on. Uh, let's see. Max, uh, what are you doing? You're holding a dead buck over there. Yeah, that, that's good actually. So we have lots and lots of dead animals that still need to be butchered. Which we, we, we have a lot of food still, which is good. Since people involved in cooking aren't really cooking a lot right now. Yeah, because Louis is also one of our chief builders. That said, Darknesia is doing pretty decently. But it's the only miner. That's why mining is prioritized over construction. Mm, okay, I'm gonna make Louis cook again because we need food. I'm, I'm getting a bit antsy with low food now. Chunk of meteor uh, spacecraft. Oh, cool. That uh, means we claim it, we deconstruct it, and that means we get components. Components are good. Also, this is really close to our base. I approve. I definitely approve. So, well, it's one of the nice things about Brimbold. It just keeps going and going, and there, there's always something to do. There's always more to do than you have time to do it, and I'm really bad at prioritizing, so... It, it gets fun. It gets fun pretty quick. You get interesting encounters that way as well. Also, how did we get some of the... Oh wait, that's Jade. It only looks like alien goop. Which is also Jade. Oh, are they gonna starve at some point? That might be it. They might starve. Because, you know, I killed their colony that actually provides them with food. That's not a bad one either. So this is uh, a very poor personal defense weapon in there. But our good stuff is there. Would have been more annoying if they had squatted our good storage. But that does show that we need to spread out our storage. So these big rooms are efficient. But the presence of bugs does make it better to just have multiple smaller rooms dedicated to storing the same kind of uh, item so then storage gets spread out so it's better to have like something like this like eight small spaces uh even with doors in between that that could of course work and then have you no know, like a weapon storage here weapon storage there clothing here clothing there materials materials cloth cloth oh so that then things are slightly spaced out that you'll never actually lose all the stuff. Hunter lacks weapon. Does that mean that Macho P is aware again? Yes. So you're in a moderate amount of pain. That's because of your sensory mechanites. Yes, yes. You're joy deprived. Go have fun. Ugly environments. Yeah, sure. You're sick. Yeah. But for the rest, you're not doing bad. Huh, what just happened? Yeah, possibly. I know I can do better. Yeah, that's gonna wear off basically when you wake up and then you're gonna be miserable again. Yeah, you need to get alive. Uh, on the other hand, 
Uh, Machu B seems to have lost all negative modifiers. Hey, a traitor. Is that... That's Hawk. So we'll, we'll see what we can do with the... With the trade caravan. Um, who is our most social person right now? Let's see, Louis is 9. Seth is 10. Vendros is 6. So, Seth, you are going to be our trade representative. Where are you? Wait, I had that in front of me. I can just click on the name to find you. You're actually mining. Very good. Very good. No, oh, you're, oh, you're, you're towing stuff. That's even better. So once you are here, yeah, we'll just let you actually store stuff. And now you can have a chat with black traits. Let's see what we can find. So we got a little bit of stuff. First of all, let's just sell all the, the pilas and all the poor quality weapons we even have some normal great bows but we have some good and superiors or some good ones so we can just sell the more rubbish stuff short bows we can sell if you got great bows uh clubs i never really care for melee weapons just way too dangerous um i'm not gonna buy your boom wraps boom boom rats or works for that matter um, components. We only have 17. I am willing to buy those. Herbal mats. We got almost 50 and next winter another harvest is coming so we don't need to buy them from them. I think this is pretty good. We, we get 160 silver. Let's double check. Um, what do we have remaining to bows? Herbal mats, components. Very old female deer but I think this one was pregnant so we're gonna get some uh, some good deer in return yeah I think it's good that's some trading hey, bug problem how are you resolving yourself right now 21 degrees even though this is a negative one 100 so uh, uh, a chilling setup like this, you probably need multiple vents to get the, the cold in. So if you move this one over, uh, put another door there, and then we just open up the door. Would be a way to deal with it. Hmm. Biggest problem is we're still losing a lot of temperature. It's, it's positive outside. So what are people doing? We are nearly done with this. That's actually a good thing. Well, we have a lot of construction projects going on. And outside the defenses are arguably very important. Because this they will eventually starve. That That's currently what I think. And then one is going to die. The others will eat the corpse. And they'll live for a while. But slowly this is just going to starve itself. Um, okay, Louis is working on food, which is good. Uh, let's see. Lacking weapon. Yeah, that's much of is sleeping. Once you are awake, we can actually give you a weapon again. I think you had a pistol. Did someone move it over? Much of is awake. Where did your pistol go? Equip pistol. Good, good. Do we have... Oh god, not, not again. Not already. Urgently hungry. That is fixed. Very joy deprived. That's that's also fixable. Okay, building a snowman. That that's good. Then you're going outside and you're going you're having fun. The fun remains ugly environment. Yeah, okay. Uh, work. Restrict. Yes, much OP. You have two hours of sleep that are mandatory, and I think I'm just gonna give you two hours of fun at the beginning of the day, two hours of fun at the end of the day, and the rest of the day you can just do what you want. But there's going to be more mandatory fun just to make things work. Let's increase uh, 
the speed again. Well, mostly done. Just cleaning stuff up. You are hauling steel. Yeah, that's from our from our mine. Which means we can actually mark more as mineable. But that way Darknesia can just continue mining because at some point you're going to be done. Oh, there's more. Look at all that steel. This is all marked for mining. This can also be marked for mining. Some components here. Oh, there's more here. I just slowly, slowly tune to the to the mountain. Speaking of, let's actually just make a small tunnel in here. Yeah, good. Uh, so Dagnesia is mining. Seth is doing the, is doing the hauling. Uh, that means also means that Seth was our cleaner. No wait, you're a hauler. Speedo is our cleaner. What are you doing? You're sleeping. Yeah, needs to happen. Louis is cooking. Yeah, see, because we're only at 25 food now. We need more. Because, well, we got quite some mouths to feed. And both Simone and Vince are... Well, they need to be convinced yet. No pun intended on the name Vince there. No permanent health injuries. They are eating lavish meals, which is pretty good for our chance to recruit them. But so I wonder if we move this storage away or just mine some stuff out. That might be a better idea. If we convert this into actual storage rooms, then we can take it out of here. So many things to do, so little time. Uh, yeah, for now, let's actually just dig out a room, add in proper walls, make it a proper storage room. Make it so. Negative 19, that's yeah, really not gonna change much. The cave tender from Sandra is passing by. That's just a random person, you're not actually a trader, are you? Okay, that's good for you, I suppose. But for now, we're good. wonder if we actually have enough time for cooking right now that Louis can actually make enough meals for everybody. Or if we would need to make Louis, uh, for example, make a secondary warden. Because we have Seth as a primary. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, Fender Rose as well. If Seth is going to be a warden, then Seth is going to take care of these people. And everybody else just takes a small step back and focuses more on all well, the things they're good at. In case of Fender Rose, it's more time smithing. In case of Louis, it's more time cooking and building. Um, Darknesia is mining. I'm prioritizing cooking, uh, constructing again. I'll keep going back and forth on that, but I think because Louis is now cooking more, Dagnesia needs to be building more. And then once there's nothing to build, we can do mining as a fallback. But that way at least things get done. We really need to convince some other people. Vince, for example, great miner, uh, potential in constructing, basically can do everything. This is just scary how good this is. And it's a night owl, so it's going to be a counter shift with the rest. Got the medicine and mining, so no, Simone is going to be a primary miner. And once you have enough people, then the balance of, of skills is going to be so that people actually can specialize rather than having to sacrifice things. Which is good. Uh, up to a 5% chance. Or nearly 5% chance, so that's good. Yeah, see, looks like food's now under 20. It was 25 before. Uh, well, everybody just does have their breakfast, of course. So if you get this, uh, Louis to over, say, 30 meals, 
if we can make over 30 mil stand at least we know we are we're growing again um, Dagnesia, what are you doing you're holding steel to a door okay that 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 is useful Ooh, new lovers max musterman and macho p have come together and are now lovers I'm happy for you, Machupi. You you need more more love in your life because you have been through a lot, and hopefully that's gonna make things better. And of course, oh Max, you already were very happy because you got bionic body parts and you attended a party. So oh, they're good influence on each other. I'm I'm happy for the both of you. So I believe this was the. They already shared a bed. That's even better. Let's see, so we have a couple of empty beds. So we can expand with other people. That's that, that's good to remember. Blight, oh no, my mysterious blight has destroyed your crops. Yeah, it's called snow. This mysterious blight called snow. So, Dagnesia. Okay, so here you see our our death corridor. This is what I was what I was aiming at. So, if our people want to get out, they can just use the doors to go through to the other side. While attackers, they need to go through this maze, and we're gonna put traps all over the freaking place once we got the the doors in. First, I'm just gonna make Darkness yeah, finish everything and then we're gonna arm this. Let's see, we're up to almost 30 mils. Yes, so this is good. This is very good. This means we actually produce more food than we eat, even though we have two people who are not contributing. So, there is hope for us. There is hope for us. So one of the things that I want to do in the future, um, of course, is an indoor farm. Then we can actually keep gathering plant-based food uh, while it's winter. Since all you do is you just take a, a patch of good ground, you build walls around it, put a heater in, and put a sun lamp in the middle. And then, no, you can keep farming. You're still vulnerable to blights, but outside of blights, it's, it's pretty good. Let's see, how are the bugs behaving? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Are you gnawing at the walls or is that still pretty okay? So they're gnawing at the bottom walls. I don't think they have actually chewed through the through the slate yet. That's good. So the vent is, is one of the weak spots here. So taking the vent out would probably blast them with a lot of cold air. So that could actually be could be an advantage if they would do that. Let's, let's put it that way. But for now, I think we have. How are you with your needs? See, they're starving. Well, they're getting there. They're, they're getting very, very hungry. This one is very mal trivial malnutrition. But as soon as one of them dies, the rest will eat it. So I believe they are. I yeah, see they eat raw meat and corpses. So this is this will take a while still. Hey, Speedo, you are also a constructor. That's a pretty low tier for you, isn't it? Yeah. So that means you're getting to the point of boredom, which is good. Which is very good. Um. So actually we'll make you a uh, low tier cra uh, crafter as well, then you will just smelt stuff. But this wall's nearly done, then we can put the, the doors in. Good, we're going somewhere. We are going somewhere. Okay, this is at least now, now at least it's uh, closed from the inside. Ah, Dagnesia is finishing things up on the outside. In double Thickness wall is just really sturdy, and no stone walls are 
we play sturdier than wood. Wood is 175 health, stone is 450, uh, oh, somewhere between 400 and 500, depending on the type of stone you pick. So this is all pretty good. But I think this is a, this is a good point to call this an episode. So not a lot of eventful things happened except for rebuilding things and just laying the groundwork for some plants. After the doors are in, we're gonna build traps and we're gonna, uh, gonna close things off. And then we will deal with things. But that's gonna be for next episode because well, this one has been going on for long enough. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.